so next one is uh, concept of unions uh, so the general syntax uh, or the concept of union okay or definition of the union is uh, somewhat similar to structure but there is a difference in memory allocation with structure and union okay so let's see here uh, how do you define a union union is representing a collection of uh, different data items under a common name okay or we can write uh, grouping of uh, different data items different data items under a common name okay and it is considered as a union okay so if you consider the general uh, syntax of the union you can write uh, simply union followed by union name or some tag name okay and inside this union uh, you can define the members of the union like uh, data type member one okay this is uh, member one similarly data type member two and so on okay you can see data type member n so these are the different uh, members uh, inside this union okay and now whenever you want to create uh, a variable under this particular union type so you can create such variable okay so where you can write uh, union space uh, union name so whatever union name that you are considering okay and then followed by variable suppose you have multiple variables in that case uh, you can start creating multiple variables like uh, variable 1 variable 2 and so on like this okay so this is how you can define now let us consider uh, how we can define uh, a sample union here example so consider uh, union demo i'm just giving you a demo of union so there are uh, totally three members here car ch is one member then int i is representing one member and then float f is representing another member okay just like this so here you can observe uh, how much memory will be allocated for this union so union follows uh, sharing of memory unlike uh, structures in structures each member will be occupied or placed in a separate memory whereas in case of uh, union each member okay will be sharing the memory with other members uh, in the union so consider uh, demo union demo x so if you consider uh, x is the union variable okay and this is going to occupy a total size of four bytes okay so let us consider character is occupying one byte okay integer is occupying two bytes and uh, floating point type is occupying four bytes okay so you can see here uh, if you are considering uh, this union f is going to occupy this four bytes okay and uh, ch 
or i is occupying uh, basically this two bytes and ch is occupying uh, one byte okay so you can observe uh, this is occupying uh, clearly four bytes of memory okay and this is occupying uh, two bytes of memory and this is occupying one byte of memory okay just like this now the entire content is shared here okay so that is why since it is sharing only one data member can be stored and accessed okay at a time so you can't uh, initialize uh, all the elements at a time even though you are successful in initializing uh, you won't be able to get the desired results that is a problem with uh, this as they are sharing the common memory okay so i'll show you with the example okay so let us consider uh, i am taking a point union okay union point so in this union point i am taking uh, two points here one is uh, x the other one is y okay now in the main function you can consider uh, a variable of type uh, union so consider uh, union point p so let us uh, initialize p dot x is equal to 10 and then p dot y is equal to 20 now if you are trying to display the content here printf uh, percentage d percentage d p dot x comma p dot y so in that case what will be the output that is going to be generated here okay so here p is the point union right okay p is the point union and this point union will have uh, two fields okay but the problem is this is a union so which means uh, it will share the memory so x should be stored here and also y is stored here okay so they both will be sharing the same memory common memory which is equal to size of integer suppose if you are considering size of integer as two bytes or four bytes whatever it is uh, then this x will be stored first and then y will be stored next okay so here that is what we are doing right p dot x is equal to 10 okay so when you store p dot x is equal to 10 then after this statement immediately you will see 10 is stored here and then p dot y is equal to 20 so which means uh, now in the same position p dot y that is 20 will be stored now when you are printing p dot x uh, it will access 20 and even p dot y it will be 20 here because uh, the latest value is overriding the previous result okay as both the members are occupying the same size both these members are occupying the same size and uh, within the same size uh, one after the other they are x or using that particular location okay so let me show you with this example here so first uh, we will include the respective header file okay and also consider union and this uh, point is the name of the union int x and then int y okay so inside this main function 
inside this main function let us create a variable union point p okay and initialize here p dot x is equal to 10 and then p dot y is equal to 20 now if you start printing here x value and y value okay so x can be displayed like this and then uh, y can be displayed like this so this is going to be p dot x comma p dot y okay so let's print this particular output you can see x is equal to 20 and y equal to 20 why because uh, even though you have initialized p dot x is equal to 10 so since x and y both are sharing the common memory and only one can be stored at a time so the latest value of uh, p dot y which is 20 will be stored over there and when you print you will get 20 and 20 suppose uh, in the next statement uh, again uh, if you are initializing p dot x is equal to 30 okay then in this case uh, when you run this code you will get result as uh, x is equal to 30 and y equal to 30 okay just like this okay 